or Megan here to do an update video. Um, first things first, if you are new to my video, my channel, my videos, welcome. Um, I hope you're here to hear me ramble about cross stitch with a little bit of life mixed in because that's what I do. Um, if you're a returning viewer, thank you and welcome back. And I apologize for the length between my videos. I think it's been about a month. But, I have plenty to show you, so that may be a consolation. <laughs> so grab your favorite beverage, grab some stitching, tuck yourself in bed and get ready to go to sleep, whatever you want to do, because um, this would not be a long video. The reason for my, <clears throat> sorry, the reason for my absence is just life. Um, nothing in, well... My mother-in-law, you guys know that my mother-in-law had the brain tumor. I say had. Um, she was diagnosed with a meningioma. They weren't going to do surgery because they thought it was stable. Then it grew a little bit. So the surgeon decided to do surgery. Um, she had a couple bumps in the road, but nothing that that the neurologist, neurosurgeon wasn't expecting. Um, but she is fine now. She is home. Everything's great. The hard part's behind her. Now it's just kind of recovering from surgery because any surgery will kind of do you in a little bit. Work is work. <clears throat> it's going to be rough for a while. Um, things are constantly changing, but hey, things are always changing in the medical field. You don't go in the medical field without expecting change, right? Um, but that's really it. Oh, and then school. My son's in third grade. And let me tell you, third grade is real. Like, you go from them holding their hand in second grade to, like, third grade, they're having tests, like, every week. And I'm having to help teach my kids study habits, which I never had great study habits. Um, so that's new. And then on top of 2020 and the pandemic and the ever-changing school stuff, it, adjusting to school this year has been has been a task. He's in piano lessons. He's now in his second book. He graduated to his second book yesterday, which is really exciting because he's not even been taking piano lessons for a year yet. March will be a year. I think he's been taking them for six, how many ever years 2020 has been. <laughs> um, but yeah, not even a year yet and he's already on his second book. So really excited about that and that's just it. So, now that that's out of the way, let's get into what you're really here for, which is the cross stitch. Guys, I have no particular order. Um, <clears throat> some of the projects I have before pictures in, because I have been participating in more events. Mainly, um, I've joined the cross stitch township group, which is limited access. And, um... I don't want to really go into a lot of that because it is limited access. I don't like talking about things that you guys like not, that everybody can't be involved in. Um, I've also been in Myth and Magic Stitching. Is that what it's Myth and Magic Stitch Wars, which everybody can come in. I'm just a villager in that. I've been stitching pebbles. Um, you can stitch on whatever you want. You just have to stitch so many stitches to get a pebble and then you gift it to a team. And that's been working really well for me because it motivates me to get the stitches in but then I get to work on whatever I want to work on. And, um, magical stitches, I'm still in the group. I'm still doing, like, the yearly things, but I'm not doing the weekly assignments so much. But they've announced their, um, book for next year. I don't, I know they've announced it, but I don't know that it's been put out into the floss tube world yet. So, um, of course, I'll link to the group below if you're interested in joining. I'm really excited about the books next year. And I think next year I'll pick, I'm an all or nothing kid. <clears throat> so like once I started falling behind on the weekly assignments and the badges, I just kind of said, oh, then I'm not going to do any of them. <laughs> That's me. Um, I'm still in semi-sane and I'm joining in some groups there. They've already announced all their wits for next year or their plans for next year. It's, it's the planning time for 2021. Let's just hope 2021 doesn't tell 2020. The whole one year. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's just jump right in. Like I said, no particular order. I have some haul. I have gifts. I don't have any finishes. I have new starts. I, I may have a finish. I don't think I, should, I do have a finish. Oh my gosh, guys, I have so much to show you. 
Let's just go. We're going to start with whips. That's what we'll do. Currently, I am working on, because it's October, and dark, dark October stitching, I'm working on my Thine is the Trick <clears throat> and the Treats by Prairie Moon Designs. There this is. This is a working copy. I don't use my friend's originals. And if I have a picture of where I was before, I'll insert it. Just assume that I'll insert a picture, and if I don't have one, you won't see one. <laughs> and this is where I currently am. This is stitched on 28 count hexing by... hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie. Pardon my, um, that's for myth and magic. You have to put a word on your stitching so they know that it's current stitching. That's what that is. And that is my, um, hopper needle minder from Stranger Things. My husband and I are going through and re-watching all of Stranger Things because it's Halloween time and what better to watch than Stranger Things. But this is where I am now. This is um, 2 over 2 with DMC 310 Black. Guys, this witch was a little messed up. She's off. She's fudged. Don't look too closely. You may see. But I'm happy with the results. About, about, um, with the way my, the way I made my copy, my working copy. I'm about a third of the way through the first page. <clears throat> but there that is, and I will continue to work on this until either I get bored or whatever. I don't know. I'm just kind of doing, going with a flow stitch-wise. And I'm enjoying that. What is this one? Oh, this one is a new start with the Sister Wise. <laughs> um, some of you guys watch the Maximum Crossage Power Hour and MYC and Olivia B. And we did a... Calling bird sal, we amongst us call it the sister wives sal. But um, anybody can join in if you can find the chart. The chart's really hard to get your hand, hard to come by. Um, in fact, I've got myself looking for it for a few people just in case I come across it so I can share it with them. So far, I've had no luck. But this is what it will look like when it's finished. Or will glare. This is um, when calling birds sing, and it's made by the exemplar. From the heart. See my notes. I got notes on this. Again, the working copy. Um, and this, I, I'm doing it in the DMC, except I changed one color. It calls for, well, it calls for silks, I think. Yes. Hand dyed HDF silks. Who's making silks again, apparently? Um, yes, hand dyed fibers. By Vicky Clayton. Um, it calls for, I think it's called beaver. No, owl. Completely the wrong animal. Um, which is the same as 611 in DMC. My fabric is darker, so it was blending in. So then I changed mine to 3781. I also am changing the border where you see this border it's red flowery things within a brown block full coverage border. I changed mine to be four colors of flowers and I'm leaving as of now the border hollow not fully stitched. Um, my husband helped me pick out the colors. They are colors that are within the, the design. And I'm doing them in pink, green, gold, and blue. And this is where I am. Guys, when I started this, we started this September the 16th. And I worked on this from September the 16th until October the 1st. I just could not put this down. I love stitching on it. So I mean, I, now I had about four or five days three or four days right before mother-in-law surgery that I didn't stitch at all. We were just doing, th helping to th get things ready and um, spending more time with them 
I was probably a little worried and then sometimes when I'm worried I don't like the stitch because later on when I come back I remember that feeling when I stitched um but I stitched a whole ton on this this is the entire border for this page and then I'm gonna fill in all the flowers and then I will work on the filler there which is the alphabet and then a row and then the roof of a house um I'm not sure this is I know with jolt fabric I can tell by the way it feels um I don't mind the feel of with jolt I know a lot of people do mind it but um I don't know the exact color but the 611 was pretty much this color and um so I changed that and then as you can see I didn't fill in I'm not filling in the whole um full coverage around the flowers and then I'm also changing the colors of the flowers and not doing them all pink. They're supposed to be like striped between this pink and a darker pink but it looked weird and then um, I didn't want them all pink so I did different colors. This border amongst Olivia, myself, I don't think Ellen's doing a border at all. Olivia, I think, is doing the two color pinks back and forth. And then Emily's choosing her colors as she goes. So none of us are going to have the same border. But that's the fun of stitching. You can kind of customize things, right? Okay, whip. Another whip that I worked on. In my diet is because it stitches back is Beachcomber by Carolyn Manning Designs. This is what it will look like when it's finished. Come on, colors. Oh, there we go. Um, so this is more what I wanted it to look like, these browns. However, when I looked at the colors, it had more pink in it. Um, Emily helped me decide on some color changes in order to make it more true to this, which is the blues and browns and turquoises. All we changed out were some pinks for some browns. I think that was it, because there were some really pinks in here, and I didn't want the pinks. But that's what she'll look like when she's finished. This one, guys, this stitching is amazing for just relaxed, not, I mean, there is some counting, but the counting goes really fast because, as you can see, it's just blocks of color. And then, once you figure out the color, like, it's just the same pattern of the different colors over and over again to make up this beautiful design. So, this is amazing TV stitching or with family stitching. If you stitch with family, car stitching, I love, I, I love working on this piece. And... This is where I currently am. Oops. And I'm stitching this along with Emily. Emily's doing a different one, and I don't know why, but I chose this black butterfly needle minder because it made me think of Emily. I'm not sure why, but it did. Oh, I forgot to show you my needle minder on. Birds. Let me show you that real quick. Because <clears throat> it's a cute little bird. I've got to clean up as I go, guys, because if I don't, this is, it's already a mess just because this year amount, much less if I just toss this around. So just bear with me. This is the needle monitor on my calling birds. Come on, don't. Focus, focus. It's a cup of coffee and it says that's what she said or he said and I got this from Stitch and Button on Facebook because I'm 12 sometimes I did have one finished this is thanks to the township group that was one of the challenges was to finish a design and I finished Nordic Yuletide. This was in a magazine. Oh, hi. 
I gave myself a note to where I could tell you which magazine it was in. It was in Just Cross Stitch, August 2014. And you can also buy the the chart itself. It's um, Summer House Stitchworks is who made it. And it's also called Nordic Yuletide, except with that one you get more than just the one ornament. And initially, I was, I still don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't know if I'm just going to back this one and be done. Or if I'm going to stitch it in reverse and back and back it with itself. Haven't decided yet. Um, this is done in the Etoile. <laughs> the Hensi Etoile. <laughs> um, I don't remember the colors. It's the darker red and the darker green. Rather than the bright red and bright green that came with it. I like them kind of, it's kind of a hunter green and more of a kind of a dark burgundy red almost and there is some sparkle I don't know if it's showing up or not you can see it a lot more in person the camera kind of blows it out but there that is I had a finish it's not fully finished yet but I had a finish I don't know if I showed this in my last video I I think I've possibly shown this in my last two videos and wasn't sure if I showed it or not. So I'm going to show it again to where I know for sure that I showed it. Whew. And this is one that I started last year for Is Kismas in July. And it is in the um, A Cross Stitch Christmas Book by Better Homes and Gardings. I think it's Stitching Sentiments. I'm looking at the book there. I, I can't tell you the exact name. Um, it's, I think it's this one is stitched or designed by Bright Needle. Um, it's called Low How Rose. Looking to see if I have a bit of information on my copies. This is what it looks like when it's finished. And this is where I currently am. Not a lot of progress. I want to say I've already shown you this. I, I feel this feels like deja vu. But here that is. And I'm not even halfway through my lips yet. And I'm already at my normal length of video. And like I'm just grabbing and seeing what I have. The next one is one that I didn't know. So this is one that has languished for a while. It's been in timeout. I absolutely love this piece, but then I, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. This is Christmas Countdown by Dimensions. This is an out of print kit. You can still get it on eBay. Sometimes you can find a normal deal, so other times they're outrageously priced. Um, I got this because I wanted to do the advent calendar for my son. Since then, my dad and um, stepmother have had a custom advent calendar made for him. And he loves it. It's got little boxes and drawers. that he, they, they fill it up every year. And he opens it up and he loves it. So I don't feel like we need two advent calendars. And I'm sure that will be one that is then used by generations if there are further generations my kids at nine and I'm already talking about grandkids um it's not even nine yet um but anyway so then I kind of put this on the back burner because I didn't know what to do with it but then I hated that it was an out of print kit and I wasn't stitching it I pretty much decided that I'm just going to stitch the Santa picture and nothing else just the Santa and uh, and kind of frame him in frame him in with the red and then repeat these little motifs on the corners and just have him hanging in my house kind of like that so when I decided that that did make me kind of want to stitch on it a little bit more so I did pull it out of the back of my whip pile who is way way too large oh that is something else that I wanted to tell you about I found an app that's amazing um it's on Android I don't know that it's on iOS or on Apple. But it's just called Embroidery Floss. And you can type in your brand. Like, I don't, it's got so many, it's got Embroidery Floss that I've never heard of. 
But so like you can type in your DMC number and then it will convert it to the closest DMC or vice versa for you can type in DMC and it'll convert it to anchor. Um, I know now it doesn't have any of the hand dyed flosses like, you know, weeks or anything like that in there. It's just like your DM, your dimensions kit floss, your anchor floss, your DMC, and then some other brands that I'm not sure of, but they are comparative to your basic DMC there none of them are hand dyed but through that I ended up getting all the colors that I would need just in case I need to do filler for the kit that was another issue as I was running out of some of the colors so with that said this is where I currently am I'm going to have to frog some now that I'm not doing the advent calendar I'm gonna have to take this all this off and redo the corner piece and um, I'm kind of doing back stitch as I go I've got Santa's elbow the train and the little doll and part of the table and this is actually a needle minder that I made myself it was a jewelry piece that I got at Hobby Lobby and I glued some magnets to it and it's such a pretty crisp like I don't know why that makes me I don't think it's supposed to be Christmas it's trees and a sparkly moon but for me that was Christmas <laughs> and it got stuck on this project. My needle minder board was running over so I'm trying to start leaving the needle minder on the pieces because I leave needles on my pieces I might as well leave the needle minder with them too right. And this is stitched in a kit floss on 14 count like oatmeal lamps the fiddler's cloth or oatmeal Aiden. I think it's 14 count. it looks like 14 count yes 14 count and some of it's over two some of it's one over I mean you know it's all over one square but some of it's two threads some of it's three threads you know how dimensions do does so my camera battery died. I'm not really sure how that cut off. So editing that will be interesting, but I'm just gonna start over with this project and we'll see how it works. So the next thing I'm gonna show you was another new start. This is another Emily and Dana um, encouragement. <laughs> and we're doing a sow on Instagram and it is from Cherry Hill Stitchery. I always wanna call it Cherry Hill Studios. I don't know why. But it's through Etsy. I'll show you. Here is that. And this is called Salt Box Neighborhood. And this is one that I decided to do at the last minute with Emily and Dana. And it's one that I'm just using. It calls for DMC. Oh, it's got one week's dye works, but I'm not using it. I'm using a DMC. Um... I don't know which DMC I'm using. Does it tell you which one to use? I guess I'll figure that out when I get there. Oh, it does. It shows you which one you can use instead. Aha. Anyway, um, and this is a piece of scrap fabric that I had from um, some of my fabrics by LJ Stash that I still wish they had. I still wish he was making fabric, but he's not, or dyeing fabric, but he's not. But this project enabled me to be able to do two projects on the one piece of fabric, so that works. But this is where I currently am, and guys, this is another one that is so fun to stitch. It's big blocks of colors, and you just kind of stitch and relax. But I've got most of this one house done, as you can see. Once I do the front, the rest of the front of this house, I'll be able to move on to some of the hill, maybe one of the trees, and do the other houses. Love this. Love this. And feel free to jump on, on the sow there, too. Guys, any sow that I'm part of, feel free to jump on and on the more the merrier. None of our, um, none of my styles are ones that have to, I mean, we generally start on the same day, but it doesn't matter if you didn't start with this. You can jump on at any time and share your progress because the more the merrier, right? And, oh, 
I think this will be my last whip. That's how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight whips in one video. Goodness, and a camera die. So, this is another one that I started. This one I blame on because they're never my fault. All my extra starts are always somebody else's fault. They're not my fault. I just can't say no to my friends, right? This is the Pil Pilgrims of Plymouth by Twin Peak Primitives at TwinPeakPrimitives.com. I think they may also have an Etsy shop. Mine came directly from the website. But this is one that I'm starting with um, Vic Victoria Gable, Stitch and Button. Um, this one... Calls for DMC, Classic Color Works, or Week Sty Works. I'm only doing the DMC. Again, I use stash and even stash fabric. This was left over 20 count, um, left over 20 count Fintos Country Mocha that I'm using for, um, my pandemic. So that's two that I stitched up. Or stashed, you know, like kitted up just from stash. And here is where I am. I worked on this flower. I had some issues here at the bottom that I had to frog. I don't know what I did. It was completely me. It wasn't anything with the chart. I just... That's about the time that I was getting kind of distracted and preoccupied. And that's kind of when I kind of put some stuff down and, and took a break a bit. I think is that's when it happened. I'm not sure. This is a needle minder that will stay on here that I purchased just for this chart and it is also from Stitch and Button. Guys, my needle minder board has no room. No room at the end. No vacancy. <laughs> and then that is it for my whips. I may or may not have worked on Dutch Beauty since my last video, or I think I actually worked on it before the last video and I forgot to show it. I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not going to show it, and then the next time I'll show it, I'll just have more progress. So now I have some gifts to show you. Um, some of this is hand, not hand me down, past the stash, is that the right word? Kind of passed, passed along to me. Um, from Miss Connie. I'm not going to show everything. There were a whole bunch of books and some magazines. But I was going to show you some of the things. I got some perforated paper. Um, I'm hoping to do some Christmas ornaments on this. Maybe some out of some of the little um, magazines. And then she graciously gifted me Stitch People. Guys, I'm so excited. I had looked at this and then kind of thought about it. And then put it down and then looked at it. And then, you know back and forth and now I have it. Scott's already said that I'm gonna have to stitch our family. Oh it even has like ferrets and hamsters and dogs. Like it's got everything. Does it have a chihuahua? I don't think it has a chihuahua. Y'all see the pattern as I flip through? I just thought about it. No, you can't. It does not have a chihuahua. I don't see a chihuahua. I'm sure it's got a chihuahua. It's got to have a chihuahua. It does. I have to change the colors so. <laughs> though. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm really, really excited to delve into this and do some different things. I don't know. We'll see. I'm really excited about it. And then I got to have lunch with the wonderful Emily. And you guys know the story of the bag that she had sent me one and then it got lost in the mail. I'm sitting on my shirt. <laughs> it got lost in the mail. And then randomly one day, it just shows up at her house. And so it was delivered to my house on like August the 7th and re or 6th and rejected on like August the 8th. When the package arrived at her house, they had written on it in September, refused. Yeah. Anyway, it arrived at her house. This time we had lunch and she hand delivered it. 
So I can't be too mad at the USPS because of this. Because there, whatever, I got two bags. So I'm just going to like be excited and thank them <laughs> for the craziness. This is, was the original bag with these wonderful turquoises and lime green. Guys, look at this. Look how pretty. And look at these colors. The bag is so beautiful. And the inside fabric is this wonderful, wonderful turquoise. I almost said wonderful. Wonderful. I love it. And I'm just, I just keep sitting here looking at it. And I haven't decided what I'm going to put in it yet. I may put, um... One of my Emily projects in this because, you know, that's what needs to be there, right? I have a little bit of haul. I thought I had a lot more than this. I'm kind of proud of myself, actually. I thought I had, I think I'm thinking about the PDF charts that I purchased because there were two of those, but that was in the last video. I have fabric coming from Silk Weavers whenever it decides to get here. That's a whole other thing. I order only from their flash sales and they always make it right. My product always gets here. But you have to be a little proactive in talking to them about your order in order to get it. Just going to say that. Um, so don't order from them if you're somebody who won't keep up and make sure you get your item. Because otherwise it could be a really long time. How about that? I also ordered from their flash sale this um, Blackbird Designs, guys. I just, I fell in love, and I love the um, We Live in Hope. I love the, the sentiment of it. Pardon me. It actually comes with two um, samplers in it. So this, I think, yeah, this is the main one. This is what it is based off of. Can I get, there we go. And you actually get two samplers. You get, of course, the one on the front cover. Let me show it again. Yeah, no, just the one on the front cover. And then you get this one as well. Which I wasn't aware that you got two. Which means I got a really good price on this for what I paid. I didn't realize I got two Blackbird charts for this. Oh, you know what I could have done? Just done this. This shows both of them. How long have I been doing this, guys? Apparently not long enough. And then this is one that I've gone back and forth on wanting. Um, because it's got a dragonfly on it. And when I've seen it, I've seen it damaged and or ridiculously priced but I finally found it at a good price and I, I, I'm almost afraid now that I think about it that I might have to so if I do this maybe a giveaway don't hold me to that because I don't know if I have to if I end up having to I'm probably to that point that I'm getting two of stuff and that's not good but I loved this dragonfly come on isn't he pretty I like that flower too. Not that I would stitch it, but it's pretty. It's like a little fall leaf. A fern leaf? Is that a fern? A seashell? I don't know. I can say seashell, but I can't say sunshine without thinking. Is that how weird am I? And it's been so long since I've done a video. And I have two installments of my color and cotton. I think they might have kind of caught up to each other in the mail more than it's been that long. I'm not sure. Um, I'll go over them real quick. Because I do show you guys these colors. Because they're not as well known as like the Week Style Works and that kind of thing. Like their colors aren't as well known. So. And then this will be it. So I have Harvest Wheat. doesn't blow it out as much. And we have Silver Lining. And I love, love this thing. 
that's pretty true. It may be a little more blue than white. There we go. Right in the right spot. Very similar to the gray card here. Oregano. Most of my time for these flosses is trying to get the camera to show. There we go. Finding the perfect angle. Better zoom in on me now. Guys, if this one shows up, I'm going to be impressed. It's called Black Walnut. Uh, it's a little lighter than my shirt. Oh, it's showing. It's kind of a bluey, browny. Another one of those beautiful colors that has more than one color to it like a hint of brown a hint of purple and then gunmetal another beautiful gray this reminds me of um like the 416 417 line of dmc it's got some blue and some gray in it. it's really really i love this one I'm trying to come up with a color to do Matter's Choice in. And I keep going back and forth. I think I've settled on one from 1884 Stitcheries, her silks. The, these guys are amazing. Look at these three. Are these not the perfect Halloween colors? This orange, red, and, and even the green and the white. Like this is the perfect October. This is my October one. And I think. And these are the perfect, the per September, no, August, September. There we go. These are the perfect Halloween color. So this was the September one. Those were the August. I haven't got October yet. That makes sense. But they're perfect for Halloween. Here we have Midnight. Look at the blue and the gray in that. That's beautiful. We have Red Fox, which that is the perfect. Like, that reminds me of um, the Fox and the Hound. Terracotta, which the more I'm around the color terracotta, the more I like it. Like that orangey, pinky color. Look at the, like how they've got deep and lights. These colors. Primitive vines. And then wild oats, which is not much more than white. It's kind of dingy, maybe? A little bit of blue. It's probably just good. This doesn't show whites very well. It's kind of, there we go. Kind of, kind of a dingy white. It looks like somebody didn't wash their hands before they messed with the white floss. But that finally is it, guys. What? A 40 minute video? I thought it was going to be much, much longer. I was to the point that I was feeling a little overwhelmed in making the video. And that it's going to take forever. Um, like I said, I tried to insert pictures if I had the pictures of where I was before. Um, I'm not going to tell you that it won't be long before my next video. Because every single time I do a video, I tell you guys, guys, I'm ready. I'm ready to be back. I'm going to do a weekly video. And then it's even longer before my next video. So I'm not, I'm not going to curse myself. I'm not going to lie to you like that. I'm just going to say I'll do a video eventually. I'm stitching my bugs back and eventually I'll have a video. Guys, as always, say, stay safe and happy sitting.